Keysight and Nokia Bell apps. We are good spirit about we need to break this workout. We had uh, only one week to start everything, do the measurement, write the paper and submit it. Everybody is working kind of at the edge of technology and it needs that extra breakthrough to make a record and get a paper accepted. And that's always you know, challenging but also exciting because you never know what you get. My name is Haik Mardorian, I'm Nokia Bell Labs and uh, we are in Massy in France. Uh, I work it inside the group uh, transmission systems and we try to, to push the limits and the performance inside the fiber optics and with different distance and different high speed configurations. So in the future there will be many new use cases and applications that will uh, require more data. The simple example is video going from 4K to 8K, going from 2D to 3D, having mixed realities. But also if you look at industry and industry automation, the amount of sensors we have in the network and the amount of data that those collect and transmit will be enormous. We need to, to have a very high speed configurations in, inside the data centers for the 5G, for the 6G, for the future of 6G configurations. I tried and the team tried to break a record and push the limits and the performance inside the fiber optics. How we can break a record? We need to have a collaborations and this is why we uh, interact with different conferences. If you look at trade shows, everybody can send in a publication and it's a process. Those publications that are really record-breaking, they have a very short time frame so you can submit your innovation very close before the show starts and that's a big challenge. For the record it's difficult to to say you can do it. First of all we need to investigate the, the different physical effects and what which component can do it or not. We started to discuss with KSite. I say hey KSite do you have this new AWG with new generation? KSite says the alpha prototype maybe We were working on um, a new project, on a new AWG, M8199B. We had the first uh, prototype which was running. So Hike had his setup in, in his lab and uh, you know he was pretty confident that his new device could break a record, but he didn't have the latest test equipment that could actually prove this. In only one week we realized this, this conference. Normally we did take more times before because there are a lot of preparation. Since the system still was in the prototype phase, we asked Nokia to come and visit us in Bublingen. Uh, this is a, a logistic part because I need to move my lab to Bublingen. Put it on my lab in the car rent, we're driving a car to Bublingen. They hijacked my conference room for a week. You know, we had our experts and the Nokia experts assembling this all together. Kesite provided uh, the scope and provided the new generation AWG. And I arrived with uh, all my equipment in telephotodiodes, current mixers and different transceivers and pool for the, for the distance. Of course, the another key component the moderators. The first two days we obtained nothing in terms of results. In one week we had the moment where we had uh, People being enthusiastic, everything was going well. Then we had moments where uh, some things was not going in the right direction and there was a lot of mixing of uh, feelings and that was uh, also the fun of this kind of experiment. You say, okay, I can sleep after. <laughs> we were uh, saying, okay, something probably doesn't work as we planned. But then with optimization, we overcame some issues. When you see in the screen in the DSP provided by Nokia Bell Labs, we see the value. I say, wow, that's it. We do it. And we're checking the hand and uh, say, okay, now that's fine. We can drink <laughs> and uh, we can eat the pizza now. We can do it. <laughs> and that moment, all pressure went down and we said, we did it. And we've been very confident nobody could do better. And that was the best moment. Good interactions, good collaborations, good communications 
and all these parts is a good way for work on. This experiment is uh, it's a milestone for the industry because it allows us to achieve transmission speed, which is faster than today, uh, longer distances, and allows also very important to have low power consumption with coherent optics. What is the next? I cannot say. Our telecom uh, spirits want to push again this record was really another good demonstration on how to transmit massive amounts of data between data centers and in the future inside the data center more cost effectively and more energy efficiently. But records are just a moment in time and we broke many records in the past and there are many records to break in the future. This is what we do at Keysight and this is uh, what innovation is all about.